I want to talk today about the blood of Jesus. I talked about the blood of Jesus last weekend that when his blood was shed, you know, your, your sins have been erased. But there is so much more power to the blood of Jesus. So watch this. Having made peace through the blood of his cross, by to him reconcile all things unto himself. Oh, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. Say all things. His blood was shed for reconciliation. His blood was shed to have peace. Now, when we talk about reconciliation, that word means to bring back into harmony. See, the enemy, he wants to bring division. He wants to bring conflict. And I think the, the number one area that he likes to bring conflict and destruction is in our relationships, especially the family relationship. I see that the enemy is so trying to divide and bring conflict between family members. You know, God is all about family. He's about the family unit. And I think about the story of Cain and Abel, the very first family in the Bible. They were brothers. And what did the enemy do? He brought in envy. He brought in jealousy. He brought in division and conflict. And that didn't end good because one brother killed the other. But we don't live under the old covenant. We live in a new covenant. And in this new covenant, we have Jesus. And because of Jesus, we have his blood. And that blood, actually the word says in, in Hebrews 12 and verse 24, it says, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks what? A better word than the blood of Abel. That, that blood of Abel was the blood that was shed because his brother killed him. But Jesus came in this world to bring us a better word. It's an overcoming word. It's a word that says reconciliation. You can stand on the blood. You can put a demand on the blood of Jesus to reconcile relationships that you have. That's what you can do with the blood of Jesus. You don't have to think of how you can make the relationship better. You put your trust in Jesus, in his blood, in his word, and his blood will reconcile the relationship. See, the blood of Jesus, it can fix a marriage. The blood of Jesus, it can fix a brother to brother, or a brother to sister relationship. It can fix a, a a parent to child relationship. It can fix, it can reconcile, it can solve the conflict. And I believe God wants to minister this right now. That if you're sitting here today and you're like, I am in conflict, I have it. Let me tell you something. There's a woman that went to this service and a word was spoken that God was restoring a relationship between a mother and daughter. And she sat in this, in this service right here and she goes, that's me. And she took it. Three, that same week. Okay, let me tell you something. 17 years she hadn't heard from her daughter. And in that same week, her daughter texted and said, hey mom, can we talk? <laughs> Out of the blue. She talks to her daughter. Her daughter says, I'm pregnant. So not only does she get a daughter, but now she gets a granddaughter. And three years later now, that relationship has been completely restored back to her. She's with her daughter and helping raise her granddaughter. Only God can do that. And only the blood of Jesus can do that. And I believe today that there are people sitting right here that can say, I have conflict. I've had some stuff going on between relationship and family, especially in family. If that's you today, I want you to raise your hand. I'm gonna pray for you right now. There's hands all up all over the place. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We put a demand on the blood of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will reconcile these relationships right now in Jesus' name. It will tear down the walls 
It will re re restore and it will remove the words and the hurts that have been said between each other now. In Jesus' name. And reconciliation happens. Restoration happens. Immediately, quickly. In the name of Jesus. And give you praise and glory, Lord. Amen.